I feel like every random Tuesday, I must create a brand new account for any new service, gym, app, or anything really that I want to try. I've done different things throughout the years. I've tried to come up with methods and algorithms to create passwords that I will not forget. But each site has its own password requirements. Plus, there is the fact that even remembering the name of the website or app that I created a new account for is hard to do. I then realized that I needed help. So today I will share with you how I keep track of all of my account information and passwords in a single place on my iPad and iPhone. If you are new around here, hello, my name is Isa and welcome to my channel Princeton, where I'm always sharing tips and tricks on things that you can do to be more organized and creative using iPad. So today I'm actually using a brand new product which is called the Password Organizer. This time I got a little too carried away with the colors and I made this rainbow option where the colors of the document will change throughout the pages. And it's so bright and I love it. But if you prefer a more muted option, you also have this neutrals version available. I am using these documents in GoodNotes, which is my go-to app for anything digital planning related. And I love how quickly and automatically everything syncs across devices. So anything I do on my iPad will be immediately reflected on my phone and Mac. To be able to do this, you have to make sure to be logged into the same iCloud account on all devices. Then go to GoodNotes settings from your main library go to cloud and backup and make sure that iCloud syncing is enabled. Now let's take a look at my pages. This organizer is quite simple. The first page is, as usual, your blank cover page. You can add anything you want here, whether it be widgets, photos, or a cover image. You'll see that you have all these buttons here and this will take you to the different sections of the document. This first big button will take me to my key page which is basically an index where I can label all of the sections. You don't have to do this step, but it may come in handy to know where everything is. Then all these buttons here are the same pages, but they are split up like this just to make it easier to separate by categories. Right before using this password organizer, I was keeping track of all of my account info in my split PSO using one of the blank sections included where I added the accounts insert, which by the way, you can download for free if you own the split organizer from the split library. But I quickly started running out of space and I realized that I needed something else to keep adding these accounts. And since now my children have their own accounts for school, for example, I thought that it would be a good idea to have a section separate from my own accounts to keep their info. And so these three buttons right here represent three other users that are not yourself. So you can keep track of their own accounts. I'm just scrolling through the pages here to show you the different colors of this rainbow version. But as you'll see, all of the actual pages look exactly the same. They all have the same information. So the way this works is you'll add the name of the website or the app on this column and then you'll add the username or email associated to that account on this other column and then you can enter the password or if you don't feel comfortable writing down this info what you can do is enter a hint for example if i created a specific combination of words i would just write the instructions for that combination right here lastly you have one other column for notes or any other information you need to enter now, I want to tell you of two things that you can do to keep this document safer. Number one will be to log the document in GoodNotes. If anyone else has access to your iPad or you just don't feel that safe, you can use this option. So you would go to your library and then tap on this little arrow at the bottom of the password organizer and then click on where it says add lock and you will be able to create a password. I personally do not use this option because nobody else uses my iPad. But the second tip I have, and this is something I use, is that I go on my list after I have added all of my passwords and account info, and then I use my tape tool to cover each of the rows. I do this because I'm often filming my pages and I don't want to accidentally give away any important details on video, and therefore I always keep my passwords with this tape over them. When I'm ready to look at one, I'll just tap on the tape, it will disappear and show me the information I need to see, and then I can just tap again where the tape used to be and then the tape will show up again and cover the sensitive info. One last tip I have for you today 
is that after you have added all of your info in one of these rows, what you can do is go to your lasso option, make sure that everything is turned on under the lasso menu, then make a selection selecting the entire row, and this can include the tape that you have used to cover the information, then you just go and tap on that selection to click on duplicate. You will create an exact copy of everything you selected and then you can just move it onto the following row. Now you'll have all the text formatted the way you want it and the way it fits properly on the boxes. You can now simply go ahead and update the text. So that's all I had to share with you today. I hope that you got some helpful information. I will leave the link to the password organizer in the description. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear what you think of this system. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and tap on the bell so you know when there's a new video out. Thank you so much for making it till the end and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.